Hello, dog files. The next episode of War Dogs is coming up right after this announcement. We here at War Dogs are proud to announce your chance to become part of War Dogs. That's right. How would you like your voice to appear in one of the final episodes of War Dogs? Well, here is what you do. Find a way to record your voice. And now, come up with a crazy, wacky line to say, up to five seconds long. Now, record it in your own voice or in a crazy, wacky one. Now render it as a high-quality MP3 and email it to wardogs at wardogs at mac.com. Now, here are the rules. The clip must be between two and five seconds long. The quality must be at least that of the War Dogs series. It must be sent via MP3 or AIFF. If you do not apply by these guidelines, your submission will not be considered. Submissions must be in by March 1st, 2010. As long as you adhere to these requirements, we will decide on our favorite sound bites and use them somehow in an upcoming episode of War Dogs. Please, don't forget to submit your name with your email so we can give you proper credit in the episode. And no, there is no cash prize, nothing. You don't get paid for your services, which is just as much as the rest of the casting crew of War Dogs. Well, that's it. And now, the next episode of War Dogs. We got him, we got him. Good. Net, hook up your life support system to command him out of the ship. Copy that, sir. He's so adorable when he's sleeping with me. Nutty! I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm a woman and I have an opinion. Of course you do. It's so cute when they try to think for themselves, aren't they, Ned? And there should be no more radio talk shows. They encourage you to think for yourselves and not listen to what I tell you to think. Plus, I, I think that's stupid. So there! Hey, you look like my pet chupacabra! No, wait a minute. Boil that one in oil, then give him a thousand paper cuts and slide him down a giant cheese grater into a pool of gasoline and lemon juice. After that, set him on fire and throw him in a pit of hungry, preferably rabid cats. We boiled all the cats, matriarch. Oh, orangutans? Bazooka. Chipmunks. Bonfar. Panda bears? Stir fried. Koalas? Hung upside down and skinned alive. Huh. Well, any suggestions then? We have some gophers left. Wonderful! Feed him to the gophers. But you still want us to boil him and do all that stuff with the lemon juice and the gasoline, right? <laughs> of course! Very well, matriarch. be tolerated by anyone outside of the government. If you are stupid, retarded, or classified as an idiot, moron, or jackass, you must work for the government or be executed. General Mayhem. Good to see you, boys. I see you found Commander Mauser. Copy that, sir. How old are you, Sean? A little worn out, sir, but I'll survive. Good. Now you boys dock with the dodecahedron and get something to eat. The Admiral picked up a few peanut logs during our escape. I'm sure he won't mind sharing. Of course not. Anything for the heroes of the Delonian War. These are the heroes of the Delonian War, aren't they? Yes, sir. Ah, very good then. Peanut logs for everyone. <laughs> peanut logs for you and for you. You with the breasts. Yes, you get one. Too.